In Marvel news, ladies and gentlemen, I've got phase five. Y'all know we're trying to, we are the Black Avengers of current culture, and we are trying to get our Marvel numbers up. C3 is coming. We didn't have time to talk about Captain Marvel 2, by the way. I didn't even have time to talk about the Fantastic Four. Yeah. There's no time left to talk about mutants and how mutants are going to be soon. Ladies and gentlemen, two-time Academy Award winner, Mahershala Ali. What is that? All right, so the schedule for the Phase 5 movies in 2023, you're going to get Ant-Man, you're going to get Blade, you're going to get Guardians 3, and you are going to get Nova. And in each story, things are leaking out. For example, in Ant-Man, Ant-Man is possibly when they are going to introduce Doctor Doom in the Quantum Realm. If you guys remember, they showed you a city in the quantum realm. That was a little tidbit that they dropped from Marvel. They are possibly saying that in that quantum realm, Doctor Doom is somehow or another in there and that they could possibly bounce the Fantastic Four from getting their powers in the quantum realm via versus going to outer space. And in Blade, we know Blade is a setup for the dark Marvel universe. He's going to be teaming up with Dr. Strange. Me and Larry reported on that Monday of how he could be part of the Sons of Midnight team. And there's the quantum realm from um, Ant-Man and the Wasp that they're talking about might spur Dr. Doom. And then we're going to have Guardians of the Galaxy 3 in 2023. That is going to be a setup for Adam Warlock. Adam Warlock is going to eventually team up with the Guardians to take on the next humongous giant threat that is a space threat that the Avengers and the teams can't do by themselves. You're gonna to have to have someone like Adam Warlock. And last but not least, Nova. And what's special about Nova? Nova was supposed to have been cut in the last Avengers movie, but they didn't do it. They decided to go with some other cuts. Basically, Thanos went to Xandar, destroyed it, destroyed everything. Nova got out of there and landed where the Hulk landed in the Avengers movie. That was supposed to be in his role. But what he's gonna be, he is gonna wind up being the leader for the Marvel Cosmic team. It's gonna consist of him, Captain Marvel, Thor in space, and possibly he's gonna be teaming up with the Guardians. Fellas, how do you guys feel about what Marvel is gonna be doing in phase five? in 2023 larry i'm gonna give it to you first i i'm i'm liking it i think that you know captain marvel doesn't get to lead her own team yet i mean <laughs> well they, they, uh, i mean they're, I'm looking to... they're saying captain marvel she's going to be leader on earth but not in space yes. i mean she basically runs around the universe rescuing entire you know systems i mean i don't understand why they can't give her her own team you know, like her own. Well, Guardians of the Galaxy Three is coming. I mean, Larry, good. you've got so many characters and these powerful characters. The, right. I mean, you know, she could still be the most powerful one in space, um, but you just have maybe Nova having, you know, all the essential parts to be a leader. Just because you're the leader, right. don't mean you're the most powerful one on the team. I think she's I, I think it's good to put to have her in there because you need to have you need to have some sort of introductor you know, like people that you can introduce these new characters and mm -hmm. these new you know the these new movies you need to bring some people from the old ones over into them to sort of introduce some and get people excited about it. And so we'll see. I think I think it looks good. I mean some of the I, I mean I'll be honest with you, Nova's not one I've been really looking all that forward to. Man, um, man you not to say that not to say that it's bad, it's just for me, I've been looking for like for the next movies I've been looking forward to, like um, you know, 
Falcon and, and Winter Soldier I've been looking forward to. Um, I kind of want to see the Hawkeye joint. She-Hulk I'm looking forward to. You know, so we'll see. I mean, I'm, I mean, I'm, I like Marvel movies, so I'm going to watch all of them regardless. I just, you know, hope, I mean, obviously the Doctor Strange one, I mean, I hope that's just incredible because Doctor Strange is one of the best Marvel characters. Like I have to admit, I was not real hip on the, on Doctor Strange when I was younger. I didn't really get into him until I was a little bit older and man, I was, I was missing out. Yeah. <laughs> Too strange. I'm going yeah. to give it to you. Yeah, I think I think it's good, man. The only the only thing I really disagree with, but you know, I understand how they have to do their movies and this, and they space them according to you know profits and and try to get every dollar that they you know that they can get uh, from this stuff. But you know, uh, twenty twenty three is still a long is still a long ways, man. And uh, hope you know hopefully, hopefully we all here around to uh, to check them out when they do come out but i do think it's yeah. uh, i think it's a good platform i really man wish they would do something with the hulk man and and uh i don't think the she hulk the 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 old the older movies was was okay but the, it didn't it didn't give him due his due diligence you man, know they, they just they, 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 trust me if I'm not mistaken, they've gotten all the full rights back. One of the reasons why they can't do but so much for the Hulk is because they don't have all the rights to the Hulk. Yeah, but, I, remember, I remember they was tied up in that. Right. In but that. if I'm not mistaken, Mark Ruffalo jumped somewhere and ran his mouth and said that they either have gotten it back or about to get it. And you can cool believe, you can cool believe, Kevin Feige heard everybody complaining about the way the Hulk got his ass bitched up in this last Avengers movies. And we're all waiting for a World War Hulk, the most strongest version of the Hulk. Nothing could stop that character unless you was cosmic. I think that they're working toward building that. Yeah. That'll be fun to see. That'll man, be fun to see. Man, oh my God. If they do that, anything like the comics, when he go to that planet, take over, and because of the conditions of the planet, it made his normal power level what it is when he's like 10 times mad. So he comes back to Earth, kicks every team's ass. He kicks the Avengers, the Fantastic Four. He punched the thing and turned them into pebbles. He beat up the juggernaut, <laughs> man. Bruh, if they do that, bro, boy, whoo. 